Hey there, in this video, we're going to be diving into the world of domain authority. We'll uncover what it is, why it matters when it comes to ranking your website in search engines, and most importantly, how you can boost it. Google doesn't use domain authority as a ranking factor. The domain authority score was developed not by Google, but by a third party, and it's based on how relevant and strong a site is in its industry or its topic, and it refers to a website's potential reputation on search engines. Now, the higher the domain authority, well, the better the website is probably going to do in search results. So websites with high reputations are naturally going to have more authority and they're going to rank higher much faster than other websites. Google doesn't provide any information about domain authority, but there are several third-party sites that you can use to check it, like Ahrefs, SEMrush, and Moz. Now, these tools look at a few key things to figure out your domain authority, like how old your domain is, when you first registered it, how many backlinks that you have coming from other sites, how many internal links that you have pointing to different parts of your site, how often search engines rank your site, and what the average position of your website is in search results pages. All right, now let's take a look at the five best ways to increase your site's domain authority. Now, here's two quick ways to get started building backlinks to strengthen your link profile. First, you can take a look at your top referral sources. Now, these are going to be sites that link to you already that you're already getting traffic from. Can you get even more links from these domains? Now, are there similar sites that might find value in linking to you? If so, well, start reaching out to them. Now, if you're a WordPress user, you can easily find your top referral sources. Just install Monster Insights, and you can see your top referral report and a lot more right inside your WordPress dashboard. Not only does it show you a whole bunch of helpful reports, but you can set up advanced tracking features that Google doesn't even have right out of the box. And another great method for building backlinks is by ethically spying on your competitors, looking at their backlink sources and trying to acquire links from the same websites. We've got a great post to show you exactly how to do that. Be sure to check out the link in the description to 15 actionable tips on how to get backlinks. Now, another great way to build some serious domain authority is to make top-notch linkable content. Now, you can do that by analyzing your most popular pages and see what kind of content your audience really loves and it shares and start focusing on creating more content like that. Now, when you share helpful stuff, well, people are going to see it and they want to share it too. Now, this is going to make it more likely that sites with a high domain authority score will link to your site. This will give you more linking root domains, which is going to help you build your domain authority. If you're a WordPress user, you can use Monster Insights to see your top pages right inside your WordPress dashboard. While inbound links are great for your website's domain authority and your rankings, having bad links can actually do more harm than good. In fact, linking to spammy sites may even hurt your website's reputation, and Google may even penalize you for it. So you'll want to audit your site for toxic links and remove them as quickly as you can. There's a variety of SEO tools that you can use to go through your complete link profile of your site and help you identify those harmful links. Now, if you can't remove those links, well, you can use Google Search Console to disavow or ignore them. That way, Google's crawler won't take into account any unnatural or spammy backlinks when they're indexing your site. All right, three quick things here. First, you'll want your site to be user-friendly. It's really going to increase your domain authority. So first, make sure that you have a well-laid-out site map. This is going to help search engines crawl and index all the most important content on your site. And it's going to help searchers find what they're looking for, too. And that's going to give your site a big boost in the authority department. Now, second, you'll want to make sure that your site is optimized for mobile. Google is mobile first, so you'll want to make sure that it loads fast and it provides a good experience for your users. And third, it's important to make sure that your site is safe. Now, you can do that by getting an SSL certificate and moving your site to HTTPS. And you may also want to consider security plugins like Securi, and it's the best way to secure your website. Now, if you want to enhance your site's user experience and boost your SEO game, then pay attention to your internal link structure. By adding links that direct your visitors to related pages on your site, you're going to keep them engaged and coming back for more. Plus, internal links makes it super easy for those search engine robots to crawl your website, which also helps them to index your pages and find your most important content. When multiple links point to a page, it shows Google that the page is trustworthy and when that happens, your domain authority goes up. If you're a WordPress user, one of the best tools that you can do to improve your internal linking strategy is the all-in-one SEO plugin, Link Assistant. Now, that add-on is going to automatically generate an internal link report on your site, and it's going to offer suggestions of relevant pages that you can link to. 
Hey, remember at the beginning I talked about internal links? Well, check out this video where I reveal how you can optimize your WordPress SEO and practical strategies to build internal links to related posts and top products and a lot more.